Greetings everyone and welcome to this short video. In this video I would like to share with you um, how to move the cursor to the right uh, without uh, pressing arrow right key on the keyboard. Uh, when and why do we need to do that? When we use uh, IDEs for uh, writing some code that is integrated development uh, environment uh, very often this IDE uh, provides uh, an opening and a closing uh, bracket uh, for us. Um, just when we type uh, an opening one, we have both an opening and a closing and a closing one too. So, um, how to move the cursor to the right and out of the clo of the closing one, out of closing square bracket, a round bracket, or a quotation mark, or a greater than sign. Uh, not to try, not trying to reach, which is very inconvenient to reach the arrow right key, which is uh, quite far to the right from the main body of the keyboard. And uh, in addition to that, I would like to to share um, in the same video the trick, uh, the sh shortcut that gives us a chance to uh, to have a semicolon that is to finish the line of code, and also uh, provides us, if we need it, uh, provides provides us. Uh, with the opening and closing curly brackets, so that is, um, we can get the space for our future method body uh, with a, just a shortcut of keyboard, keyboard shortcut. Okay, let's uh, jump to the example. Let's um, uh, write a very simple class with a, a simple method. And uh, this is the point uh, when we would like um, not losing the focus uh, from the uh, from the monitor, uh, not uh, looking at the keyboard to uh, to get our cursor to the to the right and behind uh, behind uh, that closing square bracket, and we just have to uh, type this cl this closing bracket as if it is not there. And that's it. And right here at, uh, at this point uh, we can uh, go out, uh, move the cursor to the right, going out of the uh, uh, round bracket and also um, including uh, closing, uh, opening and closing uh, curly brackets. So we should uh, press the combination of the keys. This is a control shift with a small finger of the left hand and with the small finger of the right hand we are pressing enter. And here we are. Okay. And here we have uh, kind of uh, two options. We can uh, type a quotation mark. You see, and we go uh, we go out of the uh, quotation mark. But uh, let's go back. Let's uh, let's press Control Z and and go back. Let's uh, instead um, press Ctrl Shift with a small finger of the left hand and uh, enter. And here we are. We are out of uh, the qu uh, qu quotation mark and we can go on with coding.
again we are just typing this greater than sign and here we are and uh, here as you can guess we can press ctrl shift and enter and here we are but we are lacking nothing yes Control Shift, Enter. Control Shift, Enter. Shift quotation mark. Control Shift Enter. Control Shift Enter. And that's it. Thank you for watching.